In section 4.6, we're still going to be working with our slope-intercept form. But now what we're going to do is learn how to create the equation. So kind of, again, working backwards now. So we're going to find the equation instead of graphing the line. So if we are given a slope and a y-intercept, are we able to find the equation of that line? Well, we just have to remember what the form of our equation is y equals mx plus b. So looking at our purple equation, we know that y is going to be by itself. So y equals mx. So what's our m? 2 thirds. And then we have an x. So mx. And then plus b. So remember, b represents our y-intercept. So in this case, is it going to be a plus b or a minus b? So because our y-intercept is a negative 4, we would make 2 thirds x minus 4. So the sign that is in front of that constant is telling us if we're going up or down on our y-axis from the origin. So if we have a slope of 2 thirds, we have a y-intercept of negative 4, we can create the equation of that line very easily just by plugging those values in to our generic formula of y equals mx plus b. So y equals 2 thirds x minus 4. Now in the next one, what I did is I used the same values, but I reversed their places. So I have a slope of negative 4 and a y-intercept of 2 thirds. So how do we create our equation? The same way. So we know that y is going to be by itself. So y equals, what's our m value? Negative 4. And remember, it's mx. So y equals mx. So we got to put our x value, our x variable, with that coefficient, with that slope. And then what is our y-intercept? A positive 2 thirds. So positive 2 thirds. So the equation of this example, so with a slope of negative 4 and a y-intercept of 2 thirds, y equals negative 4x plus 2 thirds. So in the homework, when it's giving you a slope and a y-intercept, all you have to do is take those values and plug them in to your generic equation where the m is and where the b is, and that will give you your equation.